anybody who might get cancer today, be diagnosed with cancer today, has a better chance of surviving their disease than ever before. And the reason is this. We are now having cancer treatments that have finally arrived where we're able to do things to help the body's um, own healing mechanisms, the immune system in particular, do the unthinkable so that we can actually help to literally dry erase away cancer that's spread. You can take stage four cancer, you name the cancer. You can take stage four cancer and pancreatic you can cancer. actually give, give uh, including dies pancreas, from pancreatic cancer. cancer. That's the killer. Even, bra- even glioblastoma, a brain tumor, also a lethal cancer. We're beginning to see the first evidence, the tip of the iceberg is starting to appear of uh, being able to activate the immune system, which is your health defense against cancer, right. you know, the cop on a beat with a paddy wagon, and literally being able to dry erase away these cancers by resurrecting our immune system in a way that maybe our exposures have taken down. So I work in immunotherapy. I can tell you, I was just in London presenting mm. at the Royal College of Medicine. You know, like the uh, my, the theme is that I was talking about is that the impossible has become possible. We can take stage four to stage zero. We can't do it to everybody yet. We don't understand how to do this everyone to everyone yet. But I can tell you in my career, I never thought I would actually see this, but we are seeing this. And it's complicated. And it's about the immune system. It's about the gut microbiome. It's about anti-inflammation. All the things that you've heard about, you know, on a, in a popular media, we are now taking a really serious look on how to put all the pieces together. So the good news before we get into the bad news is that cancer patients today, if they have an oncologist who is really at the cutting edge, they have a better chance of licking their disease and, and getting through it, not by killing their cancer, but by healing their body. And that's something I'm very, very bullish about. I'm super positive. I'm part of this research. It's doable. We can see, you know, I don't like, nobody likes to use the word cure when it comes to cancer, but I can, I can tell you personally, I've known people who have gone from stage four to stage zero, including my own mother. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling me, Case, you're taking furious notes and considering you were top of the class at Stanford, I feel like I should let you, you should, <laughs> I feel like I should let you run with this for a second here. Well, I just, I mean, I love what Dr. Lee is saying that, I mean, it is important to start with the good news that there's been a lot of advancements. I think what I think about a lot, especially reflecting on your question about keeping it real with Jillian Michaels. 